Hello, my friends again. We're here to talk about one final planet. There's one more and it is actually not on my diorama because scientists, the people who, you know, get paid the big bucks and went to school and are responsible for teaching us about all this stuff, they are not sure if it's even a planet. But when I was in school, I learned that it was a planet. So it will always be a planet to me. And that planet is called Pluto. Pluto is the ninth planet in our solar system. It is the absolute smallest planet. You see how small Neptune is? Pluto's even smaller than that. And this scale, it would probably be about the size of my pinky nail. Okay, it'd be pretty small. Look at that. It would be pretty small. And Pluto has a lot of rocks and a lot of ice. It is not a gas giant. As far as I know, it doesn't have an atmosphere either. And it orbits the sun. Remember, orbit is the path that a planet takes around the sun. While all the other planets orbit in a circle, more or less, Pluto orbits in an oval. And the scientists think that's because it's so far away from the sun. So it, it orbits in an oval. And Pluto is a blue color. Okay, and it is the smallest planet. So, let's go over our planets one more time. We have the sun at the very center of our solar system, right? And the very first planet closest to the sun is Mercury, right here. And then after Mercury is Venus. After Venus is Earth our planet. After Earth is Mars. After Mars is Jupiter. After Jupiter is Saturn. After Saturn is Uranus with the white stripes. Remember it lays like this. Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto, which is even smaller than Neptune, but it is blue. All right, so those are the planets in our solar system, and that is what we're learning about this week, guys. I hope you are absorbing all this knowledge that you can. Remember, there are stars, there are shooting stars, which are meteors that are flying through space. That happens sometimes, okay? I hope you all have a wonderful day. I will see you next time. Bye, my friends.